Quest platform has enjoyed much success ever since its first release back in May 2019. Now along with that success has come an increasingly impressive library of games and the quality of these releases don't show any signs of slowing down anytime soon. So in this video we're going to talk about our five most anticipated up and coming Oculus Quest games and the reasons why we should be excited. Now quickly before we go on, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to be kept up to date with more content like this, the latest Oculus Quest news and reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Our first game is Resident Evil 4 VR. Now when this was first released back on the GameCube in 2005, it was met with critical acclaim and is still regarded as one of the best games in the Resident Evil series. So this instalment of the franchise is a departure from the previous titles as it provides players with plenty of ammo for a more action focused game. So we know that the VR version of this game is going to remain quite close to the original in terms of the gameplay and the assets. For example, character animations and cutscenes have been faithfully converted over from the original. Original textures have also been used, but repainted or up for the Oculus Quest, while aspects of the original game sounds have also been converted into spatial audio for a more immersive experience. So while a lot of effort has been made to preserve features of the original game, other aspects of the game have been changed completely for the sake of immersion. For example, you will now be playing from Leon's first person perspective rather than the third person. You'll also be able to use motion controls to physically pick up keys, ammo, treasure, as well as to aim, reload and shoot guns for a more realistic and hands-on virtual reality experience. Dual wielding is also possible and weapons can now be retrieved directly off of the body. So while this game is at the top of the wishlist for many Quest users, original Quest users are out of luck I'm afraid, as Resident Evil 4 VR is going to be an Oculus Quest 2 exclusive. Now our next game, Green Hell VR, I actually interviewed the developers and we talked about things that had never been covered anywhere else before. If you want to check out that interview, you can find it up here and I'll also link it down in the description below. Now this game is based on the 2019 game Green Hell that was released for flat screen PC by the developers Creepy Jar. So this game is set in the Amazon rainforest and sees you battling the elements, the local wildlife and even your own sanity in order to survive. Building, crafting, healing and hunting are just some of the skills you will need to learn along the way if you want to stand any chance of staying alive. Now there is a PC VR and Quest version of this game currently in development and they're being developed separately from the ground up. This enables each version of the game to be tailored specifically for the platform it is being designed for. Now we don't know much about the Quest version right now, but we do know that compared to the PC VR adaptation, it will have a looser connection to the original game given its hardware limitations. We also know that the Quest version will have differences in managing inventory, crafting and building when compared to PC VR, but we don't quite know what those differences are going to be yet. The PC VR version will also be open world, while the Quest version will be as open world as the platform allows. This means that on the Quest there will be some restrictions on where you can and cannot go in the game, but Kami, the head of marketing for Incuvo Games, says that these boundaries will be hidden in ways that feel quite natural, such as strategically placed hills that bar your path. The thought of an open world, realistic VR survival experience where you need to craft useful items from the things you find, like some kind of jungle MacGyver, is something that has me very excited. Now our next game, Larsenault, is a multiplayer shooter that doesn't take itself too seriously and to me it looks a bit like Overwatch for the Oculus Quest. From what we know, you will have at least 8 larger than life characters to choose from and each has their own special perks. For example, the robot called Thal is a tank-like character equipped with a weapon called Bravehammer that offers overwhelming stopping power, while the mysterious alien from another world known as Chi has healing abilities and would likely be an essential support character. 
so Last Noughts will also feature character progression and stat upgrades along with customizable loadouts and stylish skins. There will be a 6 vs 6 crossplay multiplayer and much like other team based multiplayer shooters, close cooperation with your team and relying on each other's strengths at key moments will be essential to success. The game will feature three different game modes across four otherworldly maps. Game modes include classic deathmatch, a drone hack mode which will be similar to capture the flag and a territory control mode called refuel. You will also notice the similarity between Last Noughts and other popular multiplayer shooters like Overwatch. So if Last Noughts manages to pull off the same accessible and addictive team based gameplay as its closely related siblings, I'm sure it's going to be a hit. Now our next game, or should I say next two games, Assassin's Creed VR and Splinter Cell VR I've combined as one entry as both are being developed by the same publishing powerhouse, Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed is an open world action adventure stealth game. You play as a member of an elite faction of assassins battling a group known as the Templars throughout various points in history. Whereas Splinter Cell is also a stealth title but set in the modern day. You follow special agent Sam Fisher as he uses state of the art weaponry and gadgets to complete covert missions. Not much is known about either of these two VR titles just yet. They were announced as coming to the Oculus platform at Facebook Connect back in September 2020. We know through job listings that Splinter Cell VR is likely to have a multiplayer mode of some sort. These games are also likely to launch across both the Quest and PC VR platforms simultaneously. I'm excited about both games despite the lack of information as these are two AAA franchises backed by an experienced developer so I'm sure we're going to see some top quality VR games here. Now our final game Project 4 is much like Splinter Cell VR or Assassin's Creed VR in that we don't know much about it at this point but from what we do know it does sound very promising. This game is being developed by Stress Level Zero and will be the follow up to the massively popular VR title Boneworks. If you've never heard of Boneworks before it's a uniquely satisfying FPS action puzzle game where the player is tasked with escaping from a virtual city. The game revolves around a complex physics system that allows you to approach combat and puzzles in a number of different ways. Boneworks enjoyed a very positive reception upon its release, making an estimated $3 million in revenue just in the first week alone. Although nothing is certain at this point, Project 4 is thought to share the same physics engine and progression system as Boneworks. We are also fairly confident we'll see a Quest, PC VR and even a PS VR release at some point. Given the popularity of Boneworks, there is a lot of interest surrounding this one, despite the virtual radio silence ever since it was first announced back in September 2020. So that's it for this list. As you can see, there's lots of exciting games coming to the Quest. I had a real hard time just keeping it to just five titles. So what game are you most looking forward to? Or was there a game that wasn't included on this list that you're very excited about? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Now if you have liked the video remember to hit that like button and if you want to be kept up to date with similar content hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So thank you for watching as always and I'll catch you in the next video.